Hey, good morning. This is Aaron again, Pinnacle Trucks. Getting a video of this uh, 2016 F550 4x4, 50 some odd thousand miles. It's, uh, wait, no, this is a 16. It's going to be down here. These are 17s. There it is. Other side of the digger down here. Does have a High Ranger LT38 or a Terex, however you want to go about that. There it is. I'm going to give you a cold start or a Texas cold start, you know, at 58 degrees, 65, something like that. T shirt weather still. Does have power locks and power windows. Interior's in good shape, rubber floors. Cab looks good all the way around there. Boxes look good. Oh, they're locked. Back box. This one's got a little bit of solid floor, a little bit of junk in there. All right. Fire her up for you real quick. So 54 to something. Oh, God. It's too early for Christmas music. All right. 80 mile an hour speed limiter on this one. I guess that's plenty fast for a bucket truck. Pull around over here. All right, we got a bunch of big power lines in front of us, so I always like to get out of the way. Uh, PTO's over here. You got to push the e-brake down. PTO up. Truck will idle up. There's your four by four function there. I'm gonna hop out here. And zoom out a little bit. Oh, he runs the bucket for you, show you all the functionality of it. It's fully articulating, bucket does swivel and tilt. 42 foot work height. Grab it. Spinning it. Come back here to the back end of the truck. Here's the back of it. it does have your pedal hitch right there. Put your toe, toe stuff right there. Steps. Uh, the bed. There's the bed right here. And you got your controls all right there. And let's see, I believe this has more boxes on this side. There's that box. This one. There we go. All the floors are solid. Everything does work from the bucket as well. Go ahead and run through the process for you here. It's got your standard pistol grip controls up there. So all all standard, nothing different about it. There's bucket swivel. bucket does have a tilt feature as well, so you can dump any water out of it, anything that gets in it. And we got, oh, new tires. New-ish tires, I guess, <laughs> would be the better word for it. Here's the fronts. Fronts have a little bit of cupping to them, not not terrible, but I see a little bit of this stuff on there. See this side, this side's not bad at all. So passenger side, a little bit of cupping to the tires. The tires all have good shape, plenty of tread. Uh, outside tire on this back side is a little bit suspect, but the inside one looks really good. So let's get in there on it. There you go. 
inside tires really good, outside tires. Probably something we'll replace for you before it goes out. Inside the cab. We'll walk around it again. Pop the hood. Pretty rigid. Six point seven power stroke. Passenger door is still open, but turn PTO off. E brake off. There we go. And uh, again, 54, 296 on the miles. I think, I think there's a way I can go through here and get the hours here. Exhaust fluid, engine hours 4,600, idle hours 2,900. So there you go. I'll get this uh, get this video uploaded for you and get it sent out here in just a minute.